What's going on guys? It's Corey with Kern Angley. Right now I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, about to push out onto the water. It's a beautiful day. I've got low tide out and it's still falling a little bit. The no CMs are out here too because it's just getting warm. Mainly I'm going to be throwing my paddle tail right here, but I'll also be throwing some uh, hard bait like jerk baits and stuff. I put in the tide cycle, I put in the water temperature, I put in the time of day, I put in the barometric pressure, I even put in the moon cycle. Everything you guys need to know to be able to follow along and catch fish with me, I'm putting in this video. So if you're new to the channel, please sit back, relax, enjoy, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. All right, so I'm just getting my kayak together. Right now these gnats are out of control. Call them the CMs here. They kind of bite and they're a real pest. I am gonna throw a drone out here in a minute. This water is actually as clear as it's been in a few weeks. I've always called this bank right here, Gar City. It's just loaded with long nose gar. However, there's a bunch of redfish in there as well. Here there's two or three of redfish. It's interesting because they're kind of bully around the gar, even though they're much smaller. I made a good cast just past this redfish and brought it in slowly. However, it wasn't interested and ended up scaring. Mm -hmm. having much luck with this larger lure as I just talked about in my spring fishing video. It's good to downsize this time of year. So I'm gonna go from that three inch to this slim swim. But it looks like that. Little tiny thing. I use the same jig head. I have this eighth ounce jig head and get to fishing. There's a redfish right here in front of me. Oh damn he just shot out. Look at them. Damn they were right here. Here's a fish. Alright. It's a good one. I think there's a bunch of redfish in here. I'm gonna pull out a little bit so I can catch another one if I need to. Look at them all go, shit. Whew. This is a big one here. Good fish. It's important when they go into your boat to put your pedals forward and backward. Am I gonna lose this fish? Jeez. This thing is strong. Gotta bring him up now. Big one. Forget how strong they are. Lord. And he's in the net. Here it is. This is spring fishing. I downsized my lure to this slim swim, matched the hatch a little bit. Right now the, the fish are real small. And as soon as I did that, um, I was able to grab this nice red fish here. Definitely over slot. A little terrapin right there, guys. Pretty cool. So much life in this water. That's a wet foot. That's okay. This is a fishing video, but I always stop by the spot that has lots of fossils and shark's teeth. Get out on the beach if it's low tide and just check real quick to see if there's any megalodon teeth. See if you can see this tooth. Yep, that's it. Pretty one. Oh, that's a good one. Very pretty. There's a sweet tooth. Nice. Yeah. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. Interesting how they're right next to each other. Look how big this guy is. It's way up there. See if there's a red up there. As I just spent a long time chasing gar. There were redfish definitely mixed in, but they just didn't want to play. Um, so I'm gonna move to another spot and keep trying. Finally, the current is starting to move. It's good for me. It can be really tough on that dead current. Oh, there's a fish. Picked one up. 
if it was like a smaller what is this sort of a trout yeah dink trout except this bale rip <laughs> all right let's try this again my ears are just burning today i'm so stupid for not having my big hat all right exact same size another tiny sea trout make sure you like and subscribe please it, it just means a, a heck of a lot to me so the fishing wasn't as good as i expected so i'm adding a couple exciting clips that i took a couple weeks before there's a fish about time a little big trout oh yeah big trout my biggest trout of the year maybe oh yeah Got it. That was funny. Yeah, baby. That is a nice trout right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh. Looks like there's another mound right over here. Maybe there's gonna be some current flow going over it and a big trout sitting on this side of it again. There's a fish. <laughs> Airborne. This trout is feisty. It's right off that oyster mound like I thought. This one's not as big. I'm still not keeping them, so I'll wet my hand. <laughs> Look at him right there. Holy, that's a big gator. God. Damn. So I don't usually worry about alligators and I don't think I'd worry about him except it startled me because it was so big. There's only a tiny little channel you can get through and I have to put my kayak there and I don't really want to share the same space as it as it's getting around me or startle it. I fish the same little hole that it's hanging out in. It's just kind of unnerving. Trap one time. There's a nice redfish. Look at him take off. I'm caught up on my rods. Shoot. There we go. I'm on his mouth. Such a strong fish. It's nice and healthy. These fish are incredible. This fish does not want to give up. That's a big one. Hell yeah. It's a solid, chunky redfish. Beast! If you're in this region and you want to do some spring fishing for sea trout and redfish, I just made a top five spring bait video. Here's kind of my secret, one of my favorite baits. Check that one out. Awesome journey and I really appreciate you guys being a part of it.